with viewpoint, we've already talked a little bit of, about that with regard to the background. We like to get low and shoot up. This eliminates a potentially distracting background and allows us to have an open, non-distracting water background and allow the subject to pop out. But there are more aspects to viewpoint than, uh, uh, than just a non-distracting background. Sometimes we like to alter our viewpoint to highlight our subject in the foreground in an interesting way. And that's what we're going to talk about now. I'm just going to show some examples of different uh, viewpoints and al altering our viewpoints to create an unusual or interesting or compelling image. So here's an image shot straight on of a moray eel, which I, I happen to like. Now, here's an image of a balloon fish. This is a side or profile image. And just by altering, not our proximity or framing, but just by altering our viewpoint and being in front of the image, I think this is a much more compelling image with the balloon fish looking right at us. Again, you can do the same thing with not only a, a, a fish or an organism, but a portion of the organism, like the eye of a conch. A side view, interesting, versus a view straight on. Uh, it looks completely different and there's no right or wrong which one you like more, it's a matter of taste. Now here's a blenny, and I shot this blenny from above, an unusual viewpoint. I don't happen to think it's that great of an image, but it is different. Here's the blenny straight on, getting him to look right at me, and I even like this image better, not a side image, but sort of an image from an angle where he's sort of looking partly at me. We see, uh, we see a, a portion of his face. I actually like this image the most, but different viewpoints or angles of approach create different images. Now here is the side or profile view of a lizard, lizard fish, and I got in front of the fish and I was lucky the fish was on a ledge and I was able to get under the fish a little bit and got an unusual viewpoint, which I actually like. Uh, similarly, here is a shrimp shot from above, not that great in my opinion. I was able to get under the shrimp and caught him from below and now it's just a more interesting image, different viewpoint. Uh, similarly, I used, I, I got close to this turtle, kind of got underneath the turtle and caught him eating from a different perspective. And here I was lucky to get close to this banded coral shrimp and got a super macro image of this shrimp from beneath the shrimp, a very interesting viewpoint. And here's an angelfish, and I got this angelfish from behind. Now, of course, we don't have good depth of field with macro, so the fins and the fish are blurred in the foreground. And then leading up to the eye, which is in sharp focus, an unusual image as the fish's eye was protruding and looking back toward me. I kind of like that image. The eye is in good focus. Uh, the only problem is the background is somewhat distracting. Too bad. And this is just a different image, uh, you know, the fish is looking the wrong way. I'm, I'm shooting the fish from behind, but it's different. It's from behind the, the animal. And it makes you wonder, what's that fish uh, looking at? Now, this does not just apply to macro. These are some wide angle shots. Here I was just snorkeling on the surface with my wide angle lens, available light. And I looked down and caught my daughter as she was uh, swimming up with a nice jellyfish uh, in between us and I got kind of a close focus wide angle image. And here I was uh, shooting a little bit low on the wreck and I caught these nails in the foreground on the wreck with my dive buddies behind it. Close focus wide angle, an interesting perspective or viewpoint. Here I was with my dive buddy training with our dry suits in a, on a cold day in an inland lake and he was standing there getting ready to go in for the dive and I just lowered my camera and did kind of a split level and half and half and got my dive buddy sort of standing and looking majestic, an unusual viewpoint. And here I, I just uh, dunked the, the camera in the water, wide angle lens, with fisheye lens with a dome port, and I shot the roots in these mangroves. And then through Snell's window you can see some of the trees stop topside, some of the rays of the sun, and even myself, unusual viewpoint. This was taken by accident. Uh, here the camera was floating. The dome port was floating with a wide angle lens and I was just taking a break to wipe my face when I was snorkeling and I accidentally bumped the shutter and it went off and I got this picture by accident, which I kind of like. It's got the water in the periphery and then it's got the clouds and the sun and me. Um, <clears throat> not in the best pose, but um, different viewpoint. And finally, this is through Snell's window. Again, I was snorkeling in Roatan, trying to get a picture through Snell's window of the sky and the dock, and there were some seaweed, uh, some weeds above that, and then a fish swam right over the camera. A very unusual perspective and viewpoint. So, 
I hope this has been helpful. I just wanted to show some examples of how we can alter our viewpoint or angle of approach and make uh, different interesting or compelling images. So thank you very much for your kind attention. In the next series we're going to be talking about framing our image. Thanks.